hey guys we are going to discuss regarding uh, transmission opportunity so in short uh, we call it as uh, txop so the contents goes like this first of all we look into the introduction part then how does it works and uh, what are the working principle and uh, default txop limits so what do you mean by transmission opportunity so otherwise we can we can call it as uh, transmit opportunity as well so that is what uh, txop so basically this is a make layer functionality of 802.11 so what does it mean txop is nothing but a time duration for which a station can send frames when it will gain access to the medium okay after contention when will when it will gain access for the transmission medium so what will happen here by providing this contention free time period the main objective of this txop is to increase the throughput for a high priority data which is nothing but uh, voice and video so txop is basically implemented in quality of service that is qos as a part of uh, adca enhanced distributed channel access so when a station wants to send some cost data it has to first contain to the access to the wireless medium so whatever i am talking in this presentation all the things are noted down in the slides as well next we will look into how does it works so txop basically follows a certain sequence of steps first when a station wants to send some frames it has to wait till its nav becomes zero so when the medium will be vg that time nav's value will be non zero values so it has to wait as it decrements time to time and once it will reach to zero then it will ready to send the frames then it will determine whether the channel is clear or not so in order to do this it will follow a method called clear channel assessment in short we call it as cca once it will find the channel is very much clear then station waits for a particular time interval that is called aifs arbitration interference spacing if you would like to know something more about aifs i have uh, uploaded another video regarding interference spacing there it's clearly mentioned what is sifs pafs aifs everything is mentioned and what what is their values when it will come into picture everything is mentioned so you can post that video as well so once the aifs time period will over again it will wait for the contention window to complete so this contention window has different duration for each of the x categories so access categories are basically of four types okay those uh, include uh, the first one we call it as voice access category ac underscore vo means voice access category voice then video then the third one is background and the fourth one is best effort 
So each of the four axis categories has a different TXOP durations. Here in this slide, we are going to look what are the working principle principle for background and best effort. So once the station acquires the TXOP transmit opportunity, it can send frames depending upon the X category. Okay. So the station with background and best effort they are always assigned a TXOP value of zero. It means that they can send only one frame during the TXOP. That is what that is the reason it has assigned a value called zero. So every time it will win the medium it can send only one frame. So in other words, you can say that this background and best effort categories need to contain for the wireless medium for each and every frame they has to send. So it's very similar you can say to the DCF distributed coordination function. Coming to working principle of video, the video has a TXOP value of 4.096 milliseconds. So here I noted down for AC devices also how much it, it is. So here is little bit different for video and voice. In this case what will happen? The video category can send as many frames as possible within that particular time when it granted access to the medium. It's not like the earlier one. So in the background and best effort, what happens? When they are going to win the medium, they will send only one frame. Whereas in this category video, whatever is possible within the specified time limit, it can send that much frames. Then once the time period is up, it has to again contain for the wireless medium. If it has additional frames to send. So, in the same way, it works for voice as well. So, it is having a value of 2.080 millisecond. Similarly, when this voice category will win, will win the medium, it will send as many as frames in this in that particular TXOP duration and if it is having some additional frames to send it has to it has to contain the wireless medium once again. So this slide the, I basically took it from uh, the standard IEEE 802.11 2016 standard. So here it uh, clearly mentioned like for background best effort video voice how much is the IFS uh, time period and uh, uh, for which phi how much it is it's clearly mentioned over here. So this is a very short video regarding TXOP. If you found it's useful for you then please comment it. If you find on the content is useful for you, then like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.